So why is Come From Away such a big smash? Why is it connecting with audiences all around the world? Well, I approached a friend of mine, a former uh, high school drama teacher, and current prime minister, because it's good to have something to fall back on. Justin Trudeau, how you doing, my friend? Very well, great to see you, Mike. This is a big thing, you know, uh, and this is really a show about people who literally gave the shirts off their back. I know you have a passion for going shirtless. Is it the... Uh, you got more viral hits than I did when you went shirtless. We've both gone shirtless. Is your love of shirtless things, is this what brought you to this program, your love of it? You know, this is, this is an opportunity to showcase the, the best of Canada, the best in Newfoundland, uh, how people are there for each other in times of crisis. Now, you are actually one of the biggest fans and, and biggest uh, boot bolsters for the show. You even invited President Trump last year to go mm -hmm. to New York to Broadway to see the show with you. She said, come to Broadway. He said, I love broads, show me the way. You said, no sorts of musical. He said, gross, send Ivanka. You brought Ivanka Trump to the show. Yeah. Were you kind of hoping that she would see the, the message of inclusiveness and uh, uh, welcoming people from different places and maybe bring that back to the White House? Uh, that was a part of it, but it was also just a, a great demonstration of how close Canada and the United States are, how Canadians and Americans have always been there for each other, and that when we work together, even in difficult times, uh, great things happen. And that's really, it's a celebration of friendship. As a former actor yourself, uh, some may say a current, um, would you have any advice for the performers in the show? Uh, just be true to the stories they're telling, the stories of extraordinary people like, uh, uh, like Claude Elliott, the Mayor Gander. This is amazing. Did you ever think that you would be a character in a Broadway musical? No, not in your wallet's dreams. I mean, I grew up in Tullingate in a boat, and I never thought that I'd be a character on Broadway. As a matter of fact, I never thought I'd ever get to the Arts and Culture Center in St. John's. <laughs> now, uh, people, you, you're out know, there, people also about how friendly Newfoundlanders are. Newfoundlanders are so friendly and so welcoming and friendly. But are we really? Is, is it friendliness or is it more of a nosiness? I think it's a necessity. It's, it's a bold-faced lie to say we're friendly. I think it's like it's protecting yourself and making sure that the enemy at the door, you know how to control them. That's how I see it. So sort of like, who are you? Where are you from? Exactly. What size suit is that? What make is it? You got any daughters? You got any brothers? You got any sisters? Who are they? How closely related are they? Am I related to you? Who's your mother? That kind of thing. Exactly, yeah. I would like to say in loving music, Loving musical theater in Newfoundland, would you, I know, would you please? <clears throat> we'll rant and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rant and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside the two sun curves. There is straight to the channel in Coslo we'll go. You still have trouble with the words, man. Not all Newfoundlanders know all the words of Newfoundland yeah, song. Yeah, well, why does this Quebecer know all the words of the Newfoundland song?